Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be installing a dual monitor setup over under uh, video stand. This is made by Vivo, Vivo, V I V O. I've done these in the past and I made my new gaming rig, which is right here. We're going to install that new monitor stand for dual monitor. So I have one that's curved, it's a gaming monitor, and another one above it, which is not curved, is another LG, just 60 hertz. I'm going to do video editing here, so I need to be able to have dual monitor set up for video editing. And uh, we're going to do that installation here now. So we're going to go over everything that we're going to do, and we're going to show you how we're going to do it. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this setup comes with two poles like so. So we have all the components here. So this is the, the knuckle or the nipple or whatever you want to call it. It comes, everything comes with all the necessary hardware. It comes even with the hardware to actually mount it on the desk. So if you wanted to use this underneath something like so and you want to grip it, you can do that as well and mount it that way. But we're going to go through the desk, so we're going to drill a hole into the desk. So um, this comes with all the necessary Allen keys that is needed to do this build. Now this is kind of a, could be a complicated install depending on where you want to put your uh, monitors. So we want to make sure we have enough clearance because as you can see there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> there's a lot of, got my DeWalt gear and everything. So we want to make sure that this is done properly and uh, we're going to do it right. So, so these two go screw in together like so. Like that. But before we go any further, we got to make sure that we put in the knuckles for the monitor for each monitor. And since this knuckle is in, in the way, where I just put that, we have to put the bottom one on first. I should be doing lots of editing <laughs> for this. So this is the part that actually goes on the pole. There's the opening for the pole. And this is the bracket that goes on the back of the monitor. And then we have a screw here to prevent that from sliding up, God forbid, and this is how it works. It slides right into play, and then you could make adjustments, spin them, or whatever you need to do. So this is what we're trying to accomplish. So since we need to screw a, a drill a hole in this, because this is going to stick out like so, and then the monitor is going to go in. So we want to make sure that we have, that there's enough space you know, for the monitor. So when this goes on, there'll be plenty of room behind everything. So putting, drilling it right here will be perfect, right where that is, because this is going to go here, and we can adjust it height-wise after it's put on. Then we can tighten it down. And then same thing with the other monitor. We need enough clearance. So this is important. So let's, uh, oh, there's one. And then we'll put the other one on. Let's loosen this up. Because everything comes tightened. You know, for shipping purposes, they don't want it to come loose. And then you lose the screws and stuff like that with them shipping. And there's the other one. So we're going to guess where these are. Because I just want this done ahead of time. I mean, I can always adjust it. It's not a big deal. So it looks like, because once this is screwed in, it's done. So I think that's will work out well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to best amount on the monitor. All right, so we got to be very careful. Thankfully, this LG actually came with best of screws on the, go nice and careful. 
there's actually screws here, which makes life much easier. So if you were curious to know what model number this monitor is, I mean, it is a gaming, it's a, does a hundred and I think 144, or 165 Hertz. The model number of this monitor is 34 GK 950 F B. So it's a black monitor. So we got those mounts out. So we want to make sure that this, this part here, is on top because you're going to put a screw through here to prevent the, mo the monitor from coming up and it'll be easier to slide this bad boy on so we might have to put the spaces in because this is an indented indented um vessel mount so it does come with plastic um lifters for lifting up the the monitor so now we have the vessel mount on the back of the monitor Let's see if we can get this closer so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So now it's lifted away and it'll be easy to slide this baby on. Like. There we go. That went right through. Oh, God. This, like so. So it gives it support for the, for the bottom. I would have preferred a longer, flatter device, but this will work. So let's go through. So, and we're gonna do this and then start screwing it. Okay. There we go. So, now we got the pole in. And uh, that's exactly how we want it to be. So now we got to verify if this is high enough for the monitor. And uh, I'm going to check that out right now. Pop this baby on. So that's one. One monitor, but it's a little too... So when we have the chair, it's a little little too high for me so we are going to drop it down so i do have a sound bar that goes in the front and we're going to have to tighten this stuff down so this is the sound bar let's just double check that so the sound bar will go there so it's perfect height right there all right, so let's crank this down. So this one is good in terms of position. All right, so this monitor does not require the spacers. All right, I had to do some finagling, but I got it on. And uh, I have to tighten this up. without making a mess or destroying anything. Okay. It does seem a little wobbly because these monitors are heavy. But um gotta make sure that this is all cranked down. We don't want it loose. There we go. So that's the setup I was looking for. Like that. It'll be perfect. Remember, this is not the final resting ground of this. This is just temporary. Um, and another one over here. Similar setup. Another gaming rig. That's, that's the new one. So I have to rewire everything with the um, monitors and stuff and keyboard and all that stuff. And uh, we should be rocking and rolling. I'll show you the final product shortly. Now, I didn't put any of the wire management devices in the back, these plastic things. If you wanted to do that and make it look pretty as the wires go down, but 
with this setup you really can't see. So let's uh, shut the light off so you can see. I will have a link in the description below to purchase this particular type. I have multiple of them. This is the second one or the third one. I could have, I have a lot of them. They're really great. Um, so anyway, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Vivo, I'll have a link in the description below to purchase this. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.